Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Mazor Yoav, and I am proud to introduce to you the Multifunction Orthodontic Appliance, an advanced, innovative, multifunctional, effective, and easy to use appliance. For many years, orthodontic appliances for class two correction, such as the headgear, functional appliances such as the twin block and others, and appliances such as the face mask, lip bumper and others for the correction of class three cases, and sometimes in early treatments or simple teeth movements have been a challenge for both patient and the orthodontist. Orthodontic appliances that came to replace them in recent years have done so with a great deal of success, yet they exhibit high complexity or lack of clinical flexibility or multifunctionality, which are needed to provide comfort and to reach the full potential of those appliances. The multi-appliance was designed to provide a wide range of clinical uses combined with maximum comfort for the patient and doctor. A smart retentive telescopic connector is a major element of the appliance, allowing immediate and accurate match to the changing interdental distance. This obviates the need for preliminary distance measurements or keeping a stock of appliances in variable sizes. An additional important element of the multi-appliance is the double joints on both sides of the appliance. One side with a wide anatomical molar tube and the other anatomical suitable bracket to connect to a canine or premolar. Both the molar tube and the canine premolar brackets have a mesh pad to ensure stable retention. The double joints allow a wide range of movements providing immediate and excellent adaptation of the brackets to the teeth surface, even in ectopically positioned teeth as presented in figure one to three. The perfect adaptation of the brackets without the need to bend or adapt the appliance, or the need to compensate by thick layer of the cement, and in combination with the mesh pad provide a high bonding strength, increase the appliance stability and reduce the risk for debonding. The double joints also provide a biomechanical advantage, thanks to the dramatic decrease in side effects in unconventional appliances, such as posterior crossbite formation, due to the rigid canine premolar connector, which suffer a distal rotation under the intermaxillary forces. Another helpful characteristic is the double hooks, one anterior and one posterior that allow the connection of various accessories for additional and different clinical procedures. The use of elastic chain, close coil, or any other traction force is an excellent option for closing spaces, together with the rotation correction and bodily movement thanks to the telescopic connector. In some clinical situations, such as asymmetrical class two or class three, the correction of the malocclusion can be done differentially by allowing the canine or premolar initial movement with unlocked telescope, followed by inter-arch correction with locked telescope. An example of differential activation can be seen in the following case. Initially, the left photo, the upper left canine is in high position and with a distance from the premolar. The differential activation canine first movement is achieved by exercising a quarter medium intermaxillary elastics without locking the telescope. On the right photo, an impressive result is demonstrated after two months in treatment, as the canine is extruded and moved in contact with the premolar. At this point, the telescope must be locked to allow the segmental movement of group of teeth. The locking is important to prevent undesired canine and premolar movement under the high force of the intermaxillary elastics. The left photos demonstrate the class II malocclusion correction on the patient's right side, as the lateral teeth are distalized. A unique characteristic of the multi-appliance is the lack of side effects on the molars as the canines and the premolars are moved distally and vertically thanks to the double joints of the appliance.
The use of open coil springs is another option of the multi-appliance. The spring can be mounted inside the lumen of the female connector, figures 1 and 2, or outside of it, figure 3 and 4, according to the clinical needs. The use of an open coil spring allows space opening, distalization or mesialization of a single tooth. The configuration of an internal springs placement is recommended for a short span of movement, while an outer placement is more recommended when a longer range of movement and the possibility of activation is required. The following clinical case demonstrates the class 2 malocclusion correction combined with the crowding problem of a left side of the patient, the right side on the screen. In this case, the class 2 correction was done with the space regaining using the inner mounted open coil spring. Please note the high canine position on the right side of the patient. Follow up of 4 months in treatment. The right side canine is moved distally and lingually under the intermaxillary class 2 elastics and well controlled by the multi appliance. On the right photo, it is clearly seen the space opening. The excellent control of the teeth movements provided by the multi-appliance is clearly shown in the following photos as well. The class 2 correction and canine position improvement vertically and horizontally. Please note the canine joint function, allowing easy and controlled movement with no side effects on the arch or posterior teeth which prevent excessive vertical height opening. On the right photos, we can see the class to improvement time of the space opening required for the premolars. Mounting procedure of the appliance is simple and easy. And it is similar to tube or bracket bonding, which we are all well familiar with. The tooth surface includes initial cleaning with the prophylaxis brush, etching for at least 20 seconds, washing and drying well. The use of the new generation of bonding materials, such as the GC OrthoConnect, is highly recommended due to the excellent bonding strength and the elimination of the need for extra strap of using a primer. It is recommended to use tube pliers and to angulate the male component of the posterior joint to allow easier placement of the anterior female component, figure number one. We can adjust the molar tube, remove the excess cement and light cure well. Tough surface preparation for the bonding of the anterior joint is identical to the previous step. Hold the anterior joint with the bracket holder, apply the bonding material and slide the female telescope component over the male component until the desired length is achieved. Next, the attachment of the anterior joint to the tooth surface is achieved using a metallic instrument such as a scaler or simply by pressing with the finger. Achieving the desired attachment angle and location is easy thanks to the movement of the joint connector. With a gentle press over the pad under the tooth surface using a metallic instrument, the final and accurate positioning is achieved, remove the excess of the cement and light cure. In cases that require control over the tooth rotation, a more distal positioning of the bracket of the canine or premolar is recommended, figure number one. In addition, a joint locking can be added just by applying a small amount of fluid composite on the joint, photo number two. When vertical control is required, a more occlusal canine or premolar bracket positioning it is recommended. When the locking of the telescope is required, it can be achieved by several ways. Placing the GC Auto Connect Flow, a heavy field flowable composite cement that has also the chemical bond to the metal, at the female male connector junctions, figure number 1A. Other option is the use of crimpable stop, which is an excellent option since it allows the fixation of the desired interdestal distance for the class 2 or class 3 correction, but it does not lock the telescope parts together.
allowing possibility for replacing or rebonding any of the parts. Here also a drop of fluid composite is recommended posteriorly to the stop to verify the telescope locking which is extremely important. A unique form of the multi-appliance is the multi-band. It was designed for those cases which a preliminary step that required the use of bands on molars or for those clinicians which prefer bands on molars instead of tubes. The mounting of the multi-band is simple. The male connector of the telescope presents a wire extension, which is inserted in the band wire slot and can be used for both 018 or 022 slots. At first, the posterior component of the telescope only, photo number 14, is inserted in the wire slot of the band. Make sure the telescope retention lines are faced buckly, photo number 15. At this point, the posterior part of the telescope needs to be stabilized by cinching the distal end of the Y extension, finger number 16A. Next, the male telescope part needs to be parallel to the buccal teeth line, horizontally and vertically, which can be easily achieved by a finger pressing or by any orthodontic pliers, figure number 16B. The next step, the anterior part, is mounted identically to the previous described steps. A common use of the multi-appliance can be the class 2 or class 3 correction. The activation of the telescope can be first differential, as described earlier, with an unlocked telescope until the desired movement was achieved. Then the telescope can be locked for further segmental malocclusion correction. In the following clinical photos, a correction of an asymmetrical class 2 case, full unit on the left side and half unit on the right side, achieved in 3 months of treatment using the multi-appliance, with no side effects such as posterior crossbite, undesired rotations or any other side effect. The multi-appliance is using intermaxillary quite height forces for the malocclusion correction. The stabilization of the lower arch in class 2 cases and the upper arch in class 3 cases is extremely important to prevent undesired side effects such as incisor proclination or molar eruption, which might lead to the undesirable side effects such as excessive bite opening or clockwise rotation of the occlusal plane. Now I would like to share with you a clinical tip will assist to improve the stabilization of the removable clear retainer. The use of attachments on the second molar or on the second premolar will much improve the retainer stability. Those attachments are placed on both sides, right and left, and they can be pre-made or freehand made on tooth surface using any type of composite shaping into a horizontal rectangular shape. The step is done before impression taking or scanning together with the buccal tube placement. On the left side photos, the scan of the lower arch is shown presenting the buccal attachments and tubes. On the right side, the 3D printing process. The scanning and 3D printing with high quality vacuum forming appliance will provide the best quality and accuracy of the clear retainer. Other advantage of the described process is the easy production of an additional retainer in case of lost or breakage, having a resistant printed model. Thank you for joining us to our presentation of the multi-appliance. We invite you to enjoy the benefits of this innovative appliance. For more details, please contact ymdcenter at gmail.com.